Hey, what's going on, Crew Clutch here? Welcome back to Flint Hills. Guys, we've got uh, we got some tilling to do today. All those fields we limed the other day, I gotta get those taken care of. I need to get some seeds in the ground now. So we're gonna be doing uh, some tilling. I wanna get this, this is gonna take some time. But then uh, I need to buy, well, I've got a line on a couple of different planters. We'll get to work on that. We'll talk about it in the back here, bit here, guys. Let's get to, uh, let's get to work. Let's get the uh, 4960 into the field. And let's till some dirt. Let's go. Pitter patter. <laughs> Once again, I figured we might as well go down to the the, uh, the small field down on the far side, down by uh, Gertie's stabbing cabin down here. Oh man, the stabbing cabin. <laughs> nice name. I love it. Man, she really needs to mow her lawn. Look at this. I'm telling you. Got to take care of this place, Gertie. Come on, get some work done around here. Um, so we're going to plow this all under. And then uh, from here, I'm hoping I can get her out to go take care of the bigger field. I got to go run into town. Drop this down. Looks good. Um, yeah, like I said, we need a planter. I still do not have a planter yet. And we need to get that taken care of today as soon as we can because we're running out of time here. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be summer before we know it. And I still don't have any seeds in the ground yet. And we've got a lot of fields to plant. Perfect. All the way up. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of fields to plant. And if we don't get seeds in the ground before summer, well, it's going to be a loss of a year, isn't it? Uh, I'll be just, I'll be a hired schlep for everybody else around here. All the other farmers will be using me just to, so I can make a few bucks, I guess, but... We'll get some feel. I'm hoping we get some seeds in the ground today. So, my plan. What is the plan? Well, first off, I need to get this field uh, taken care of. And I'm hoping that I can get Gertie to come out and kind of start taking care of the bigger fields. I mean, this is our smallest field by quite a bit. But uh, I'm hoping that I can get her to come over and take care of, well, the big field here on our left. The 60 hectare field, I think it is. I'm hoping she can come out and give me a hand with that one. I've got two fields that size that need to be need to be tilled up, need to be turned over still, and then I can get to planting on them. I'm really hoping she's around, so um, well I can get just come behind her with uh, well with the planting unit, whatever that ends up being. And so now for planting units, guys, I've got a couple of, a couple of options over at the shop. I was just on the website taking a look and seeing what they got. There's some some options there. There's some options. We'll take a look in a sec here and see what we got. But uh, yeah, there's definitely a couple of options there that I'm definitely interested in. We'll have to pick something up or we're, we don't have a choice. I'm still like I can order something in or get something out of state. Uh, we're going to have to get that taken care of today. Um, all right, we've, we've wrapped the field up here. Just noticed something. That looks all good. What is... I got some questions. I have definitely got a few... Qu what is going on here? All right, guys, on to our, uh, our bigger stuff over here now. Um... I have ran into one slight issue that we're going to have to figure out. Now, how am I going to uh, get a decent planter with what I've got? I mean, we can get something that'll work with the, the 9460 here, but that's going to be a pretty small planter. That is the problem we're running into. Of course, the 8970 doesn't have a three-point hitch. It doesn't have a PTO on the back, anything like that. So that's not going to be much use. In fact, I probably should be using that right now to, to rip this up. But um, you know what? It's dry right now. I have no traction issues, as you can see. And this is just a little bit easier to drive in the grand scheme of things. So I'm hoping that uh, Gertie can just come over here and take this over for me here in a second. Oh boy, she's gonna have her work cut out for her today, guys. We've been uh, we've been slowly making our way through this, but it's gonna take a hot minute here. Um, even to plant this, the planting unit we've got. I'm not. I'll give you a heads up. It's it's way bigger than. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, not sure who the heck that was. That was um. Huh. Out in the middle of the field here, pretty much. I mean, yeah, that's a bit of a roadway back there that goes along the creek, but uh, that's about it. Anyways, let's uh, finish this off. I'm hoping Gertie should be here any minute, guys. And once she's here, she can just keep on working on this while I go take care of our planting uh, situation. She's got her work cut out, cut out for her, but you know what? To be honest, so do we. It's not like I'm just leaving her out here on her own. I've got to, I've got to get planting. So um, hopefully uh, we can get this fired up right away today. You know what? The unit looks like it's in decent shape. Reused? I mean, it's, it better be. It's still better be reusable for the amount we're paying for this thing. All right, Gertie. Thanks. Uh, I hope. You know what, guys? She's got a lot of work to do here. A lot of acres to get through. Ah, it should be fine. Should be fine. I'm sure. You know what? This is one of the reasons why I gave her the uh, the 4960 instead of the Big Eight series. Uh, this is just a lot easier to drive for her. A little two wheel drive. 
I mean, it's still 200 some odd horsepower, so at least it's got enough to get around the field and pull that uh, that cultivator. But man, you know what? She doesn't need anything, any more difficulties, anything that's going to have any risk of breaking down. We'll keep it simple that way. Anyways, uh, let's head back over to the farm here. I've got something to show you. So this just arrived uh, not too long ago, guys. The, uh, the used planter I bought. Now, yeah, you know what? It's, it's definitely overkill, but for the same price, new, um, we've got something absolutely ridiculously massive. This, well, it's the DB120. Pow. Oh! Yeah, a DB120. How? Yeah, I know, a 120. I don't know what to tell you guys, but this was a good deal. I mean, it was still $300,000, but still, this is a really good price for, for what we're getting on this. It's in decent shape. Everything seems to work. We'll have to run it through its paces today. But, I mean, look at the size of this thing. I cannot wait to get this over into the field. Is already still over there? Oh, there she is, speaking of which. Uh, we'll get this over in that field hopefully soon. And we can give this a shot, guys. Plant some corn. Put some corn in the ground. But, man, this thing is massive. Uh, 120, 300,000. Like I said, usually this is going to be around 500 by the time you get everything in. But uh, it's got a couple seasons on it already. Farm's gone under, it looks like. So uh, we got this. It's used, right? Nice big used planter. My problem, of course. How do I pull this? What do I have that could pull it? Now, actually, guys, this solves us more issues than um, than just that. Huh? Kind of worried about how the heck I was going to pull a planting unit with um, well, any of the tractors we've got. I mean, like I said, the 4960 over there, yeah, it's not going to pull this. This is way too big. That's rough. It's just over 200 horsepower. We're probably going to need 300 and some to pull this. So I'm going to be stuck. The only thing else I have that has that kind of horsepower, of course, is our 8970 over there. But it doesn't have a three-point hitch, and it doesn't have a PTO. But, oh, well, guess what? We're in luck. We don't need either. Perfect. Now, I do have a line on another used tractor that I'm looking at purchasing that may even bridge the gap because I still need something in between but this is at least going to get us started so tell you what let me fire this 89 uh the 8970 up let's get this thing hooked up let's fill some seed put some fertilizer in and we'll go and see if we can plant uh put some corn down in that back field behind us here we'll just give her a quick test it's a small field it shouldn't take us too long and it gives us a chance to run the 8970 some more which of course i am always game for oh yeah this thing is a beast <laughs> oh man uh we'll let dirty work her way through that we shouldn't take us too long. I mean, it, it's a decent sized field, but it's not. With the 8970, guys, we'll have that field done in next to no time. And then uh, we can just get across the road and, and go give her a hand, see how she's doing over there. Look at she's still she's still plowing away. All right, tanks are all filled. I'm not even bothering to test anything out. Let's just go see if this thing's going to work. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's fine. It looks like it'll be okay. Everything's not in too bad of shape. I mean, they said they tested it beforehand, so um, we'll find out how she runs. Uh, I'm excited. It looks like it should be good. 48 rows. Nice. Of course, my bigger problem is moving all this massive equipment around our tiny little farmyard here. You know what? Um, well, it's functional. This this little farmyard we've built, guys, is going to have to be changed over time as we increase size. Oh, boy. <laughs> you see what I mean? Um, there's just no room. There's just zero room for us to get things done. All right, into the ditch again. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Into the ditch and spin. Oh, man. Yeah, see? Trying to get things moved around is not extremely easy. Uh, yeah. Anyways, farmyard we're going to is, well, back through the farm. See, having this narrow farmyard, it means we can't even spin things around in the yard. Um, it, it works for now, kind of. But very soon, we're going to have to move this. And you know what? I've got a plan for that, but we need to get going. And I mean, we're kind of chipping out on equipment in a way. Um, I mean, even this planter, guys, 300 grand, that's not that much in the grand scheme of things by comparison. Sure, I could have gotten something smaller for 100, but uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get this in without jackknifing it too badly here. Oh, that's a tight fit. Definitely a bit of a tight fit. All right, there we go. Um, I said I was never going to do this, but... Um, well, here we go. Let's make sure the bridge still works properly. Shouldn't let's see here. Nice and easy. Oh, bad. It barely fits over this bridge, guys. Look at that. It barely fits. <laughs> um, perfect. Anyways, we're good. We're good. It's all good. Let's get in here. Let's throw some corn down. We've got uh, we got a, a decent a decent sized field here. Nothing huge, but it's uh, definitely something worthwhile planting. That's for sure. All right, let's line this thing up properly first. 
on let's go down to the far end actually we'll go through this little uh water ditch area right here all the way down to the far side and we'll line this up nice and straight and level and we'll go to town from there all right here we go straight ahead oh man this thing is she's got some length to her um i'm i'm noticing something though it, it seems like we're struggling a little bit on speed guys just coming up that little hill it was like four and a half maybe five miles an hour we were able to hold i'm definitely having some issues yeah definitely issues with speed um huh yeah this is gonna be an issue folks oh man not only is this planter way too big well it's not that bad it's just big for our farm let's be honest our farm yard the lands we've got you know what we've got some big fields we've got some 200 plus acre fields it's not too big for that but it's too big for the farm yard the bigger problem i'm having guys is well trying to pull this now i i'm i'm almost at 45 percent we've used like a, we only have we almost used two-thirds of the seed uh inside this unit and i'm i've still got well you can kind of see how much we got left to do here and this is a small field i need i need a nurse tank i need something to i need another tank for this I am not going to be able to do this on that massive field. Those massive fields we got to deal with later on. To be able to pull this on the far side, I have to drag this back every single time we want to refill it. The, the amount of time we're going to waste with that is just ridiculous. I'm going to have to go spend another 100 grand, I think, and find myself a tank to connect to this. This just ain't going to work otherwise. Uh, this is just going to be a huge ordeal otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to... Uh, to fill, finish this field on one load i may have to go grab a second load just to finish this little field which is you know what what is it 40 acres like it's it's nothing by comparison and i'm not going to have enough to do this field let alone some of the massive fields we have across on the other side on the uh the, the east end over there oh man it never ends one problem after another right well guys we are out of seed no more seed left i gotta go refill like i said we didn't even manage to fill or empty this field off i've still got I don't know a little less than a third left to still do here um how does that oh man how does that gonna figure out into things like seriously we're definitely gonna need something else that's gonna be able to pull this uh we need a some kind of a feeder tank of some sort I'll have to figure that out later we'll finish off this field for the day though I, I'm just kind of surprised at how much seed we're going through with this I thought we'd be able to get through this whole thing I thought there'd be enough room in it uh not quite definitely not not quite Oh, easy now. Easy. Easy. Yikes. Um, so I guess we're not going to be able to help Gertie out for a bit here, guys. But uh, we'll get out there soon enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe, folks. And uh, I got my work cut out for me still here. From Flint Hills. This is Glutch. Over and out. Oh, boy. This is so tight. Mm -hmm.